Hey everyone! I'm so excited. Haven't made a video in forever. But um, I have been working on um, stuff. But they're small little things, and you know, one flower, even though it took me a little while, wasn't worth making a video for. So I've got a small bunch of flowers that I've gotten done that I thought I'd show you. And I, I learned how to make this flower. Uh, I will put the person's name down in the description box as to who I learned how to make the flower from. Because I was looking through my favorites list. Because usually when I see a tutorial and I think it's a really great idea and I want to make it, um, I'll put it in my favorites list and then I forget about it. And I was looking through that and after two hours of trying to, of attempting to make the start of a ribbon rose, I finally gave up and found another tutorial. And it's really, um, and it's an extremely easy flower, um, but... It, it does take a little bit of time because there's a little bit of sewing involved. So, the type of flower that I made was this kind. And I really, really like how they, how they look. Um... Mm -hmm. Do I have it up here? I should. So on all my flowers, the fabric that I used was um, one of my mother's old shirts that she said I could have and that I turned into a craft project. Um, I just got done hacking up the shirt, which actually took quite a while. This is what's left of the shirt. <laughs> so I still, I wanted to to cut this out and turn that into a flower and whatnot. So, um, so yeah, all the white fabric on these flowers are from that shirt. So I was really happy that I was recycling. And also, this gave me a chance to use up, um, the first flowers that I made. I used up the lace. I had, like, a couple yards of lace, um, that I hated, but I refused to throw away. Um, I don't think, I guess I'll get to that when I get to it. So, um, these are the flowers that I've been making. And the lace on this one, and also this one. I made two of each, uh, lace flower. I made two of each flower with the, I made two of each. I'm just going to say that. Um... And the lace that I used on this one was this, um, pink dollar spool lace. And, like, I want to use the cheaper lace when I'm making these flowers because I'm hacking it up, you know? It's not, I'm not leaving the lace as is, I'm, I'm basically shredding it, so, um... But yeah, I really like how these flowers turned out, so I made those too. And then I reached into my lace bin behind me and pulled out whatever I pulled out. And what I pulled out was was some red lace that Leslie gave me, some flat red lace. So, there's that one. Um, so these two are the first two flowers I like, and they're two of my favorites, because I really like the cream on the white fabric, the cream lace on the white fabric. And I had, where is it? So the lace that I used on these flowers... This is what it looked like, and I absolutely hated it. I thought it was a gross-looking lace. <laughs> so, um, but it looks really good on this. It looks very shabby. And I'm really happy with how they turned out. Um... 
Doesn't look like the camera's picking up the detail very well. And then here's two purple ones. And I was a little bit disappointed on these because the fabric doesn't, you can't really see the fabric even though there's fabric on these flowers just like the rest of them. Um, and I used the Purple Martin Martha Stewart Pearl Pink Glimmer Mist that I made. And so I think the, the paint just kind of hides the fabric in there and I was a little bit disappointed because the fabric gives it a lot of character behind the lace but I still like how they turned out and I do not know what my problem is but I cannot for the life of me stick the buttons in the middle of the flowers it's I, I do not and you know I'll, I'll play with it first I'll, I'll make sure I've got the spot right you know and it looks right and perfect and then when I glue it down with hot glue, it's like not in the middle. It's like, how does this happen? But it happens, and I can't get the get the centers right. I never have on anything. I've never been able to get the centers right. So, <laughs> on a lot of my flowers, the centers are not in the center. So, then I made these two light pink ones and these two I sprayed with the LA eyeshadow lollipop homemade glimmer mist and I really like how these turned out because this uh, eyeshadow glimmer mist has never dyed anything very well for me um, you know the the color has never been so strong like on these flowers um, but on the lace and the fabric, the color came out really strong, and I'm really happy with how it looks. And it didn't hide the fabric too much, you know, like the purple paint did. So I'm really happy with, with how these turned out. So these are the two newest ones that I got done and I had a small section of black lace that I wanted to use so I just went ahead and made two black and white flowers. See this one's clearly not in the center. I was reluctant to use that button because I really like it. And then there's these two, and there's a funny, jeez Louise, there's a funny story, but there's a funny story about these two, because, um, I had pulled out this obnoxious yellow dollar lace that I picked up because my mother said I liked it or said she liked it because I'm just weird like that and I'll pick up anything that my mother says she'll she likes and I'll buy it so um <laughs> and I hated this yellow I thought it was obnoxious it looks like the yellow paint used on roads um obviously it's not a good color for projects it's just I can't think of anything I would use this yellow color on so I wanted to try and change it, so I sprayed it with the Purple Martin Glimmer Mist Paint stuff, and it, when it was wet, it looked like the nastiest poop brown green color you can imagine, and I was about to throw it away, but then I thought to myself, you know, paint looks different a lot of the time when it's wet compared to when it's dry, so... I decided to walk away from this horribly, horribly colored lace and come back after it was dry. And when I came back, it turned out to be this really gorgeous, or at least I think it's gorgeous, 
um, sparkly brown color and when it was wet it looked totally different. I'll have to do a video of when it's wet compared to when it's dry because it, to me it looks totally different. So I'm really happy with how that color ended up coming out, you know. I didn't realize purple and yellow could could make such a beautiful brown. Um, and when I was spraying the purple on it, I actually wanted some of that yellow to turn through or to show through because um, I thought it would be a cute Easter, like Easter flowers to have purple and yellow lace, you know, but it all bled together and turned it the nasty brown. And then when it dried, it was a beautiful brown, so. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. And the last two flowers I, I made with uh, scraps of this. Um, so there's this one. And this fabric is the shirt. I, I just made this one into a lollipop flower. I didn't cut it like the rest of them. And then there's this one. The lace is pretty screwed up on the back, and I was, and I had um, my glitter glue sticks in the in my gun when I was making this flower. So you've got the gold glitter glue coming through the back here, but um, figured it was back. It didn't matter. So this one I I curled like I do my wired, um, my wired edge ribbon roses. Um, I curled it like I do on those and then just stuck the, a small piece of the lace remnant on the back. And I really like how these turned out too. I think they're really cute. So I've got some more. I finished cutting up the shirt and I've got, um, I really need to find some more shank buttons because those aren't um, cheap around here. Yeah, you know, I can buy clothing at the thrift store for the shank buttons, but you get like six shank buttons and then you had to pay three dollars for the shirt, so um I'm I'm running very low on my shank buttons and I need to get some more. But I'm hoping um the next bunch of flowers I make, because I wanna finish using up the fabric from the shirt, um I'm gonna get those up on the Zibit store. And they'll be sell be on sale or they'll be for sale for fifty cents a piece um, because they do take a little bit of time to make and they do take and I am using lace so um, yeah I guess that's it there was something I was gonna tell you guys be nice if I could remember what I was gonna tell you guys but I don't remember. Um, I think I was going to talk to you about me moving. It's a good possibility that was one of the things I was going to mention. Um, after this month after March um, I'll have mail sent if anybody was sending me a package for whatever reason I know there's still a couple people that were um, sending something in honor of Pebbles um, I'm we will definitely be here through March um, after March, I'm going to send anybody who mentioned that they were sending something um, a private message with the with the new address. Um, we're probably going to have the mail sent to my mom's friend's house for a while until we are actually in a in a permanent home, um, or in other words, aren't homeless. And <laughs> because um, we were going to buy a PO box, but um, any money we can save 
can go back towards the animals, like buying flea medication, which, you know, 20 bucks a pop is very expensive when you think about um, five dogs and a cat. So, <laughs> it's very, um, $20 tubes of flea medicine isn't the, isn't the most uh, economical thing for for us at this time, but um, we just have to cut corners. So, I think, um, yeah, I think we're going to ha be having the mail sent to my mom's friend's house because my mom lives up there two-thirds of the time. Um, so, yeah. If you send anything before March, it'll be fine. But once it hits the end of March, I'm going to be sending out messages and all that good stuff. So... Yeah, I guess that's it. Thanks for listening. Um, if you have any questions on the flowers, just ask. And I guess that's it. Flowers have pretty much been the only thing I've been making. been really busy with various other things like packing. And um, we had to go down to the cabin look at, at its condition. Turns out my cousins trashed the place, so that's not very helpful to us. <laughs> but I guess that's it. I think that's all I was going to mention. Yeah. Okay, so thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll have a new video made soon. I had some other projects in the works, but those might get tossed. I'm not very happy with them. So, talk to you guys later. Bye.